Hi guys, welcome back to Finpact. Today we're going to take a look at how Coinbase stock is one of the most undervalued crypto stocks of 2022. I am super bullish on it and I will go through why in this video. And before we begin, this video is sponsored by XTV, which is one of my favorite trading platforms to use. And we're gonna be using their platform to do the technical analysis as well as going through the fundamentals of Coinbase stock. Now, without further ado, let's go into Coinbase stock. I just bought in on the Coinbase stock dip, but I have not been the only one. Famous investor Kathy Wood has also done the same. And as we know, Kathy Wood is known to invest in risky stocks when there are market downturns, and she's known to profit off them when the market goes back into a bull run, which I do believe will happen in 2023. Always remember that when you're investing, you invest for the long term. And if you have a five to 10 year horizon with your investments, then you will see those profits later in the future because the S&P 500 has always gone up historically, despite the slumps we see during recessions and times of macroeconomic woes. Since most of you guys are crypto viewers, I'm not really gonna go into what Coinbase is, but if you guys really don't know, then I mean, have you been living under a rock? Coinbase is one of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges out there in the US. It's the largest one in terms of trading volume. It was founded by Brian Armstrong and Fred Ursam around a decade ago, but it's not just a cryptocurrency exchange. They also have lots of products and services. I do think their fees, however, are a bit high, but I guess that contributes to their revenue. So from an investor's perspective, we're not complaining. They have a Coinbase NFT marketplace where you can buy and sell NFTs. They also have Coinbase Pro, which is a professional asset trading platform for professional traders. Anyway, they went for a direct listing April 14, 2021. And as many of you guys know, this is when we saw the cryptocurrency bull run, market was booming, oh, I miss those days. But it went onto the market for around $381. But right now the price is around $77, which is so much lower. Let's go into XDB's X station, which will help us decide to see how we think the outlook is and the trajectory. All right, so one of the things I love about XDB is their news platform. If you have a stock you're interested in or a currency or whatever it is, you just type in. So I've typed in Coinbase and we have just got an article that they have released about growth stocks. And this is exactly what I think Coinbase is. I think it's undervalued. And they have gone into exactly what's happening with the Coinbase stock and why it's currently undervalued. So Coinbase released their results and they did post a loss of $2.82 per share since posting a negative EPS of $1.96 per share. This was a lot lower than the market estimate. And even their revenue was lower than estimate, which was at $1.17 billion in revenue versus the estimate of $1.48 billion in revenue. That's like a 27% drop from what they were expected to achieve. Basically, all the metrics were negative. Gosh, I love this XTB article. I love how it's just got it here. All the metrics were negative. It wasn't great. And that's why we saw the share price fall even further. XTB offers tons of tools for technical analysis, which I think is really important. Like you can't go on Coinbase and do technical analysis, they just show their own chart. That's what I love about it. We want the option to have the full snapshot of what's going on. Okay, so I've drawn some trend lines on the peaks and the troughs from March 2021 to, well, where we're at right now. And it's not been the best trajectory. Coinbase stock hit resistance around here and it's been on a downward trajectory down here where we've seen some support, but it is highly possible that we can see the price fall even further depending on the crypto market sentiment, which has actually followed a very similar pattern. Overall, crypto stocks tend to be very much correlated with the crypto market sentiment and Bitcoin's price. As we know, Bitcoin is the leading confidence indicator of the overall crypto market. So whatever Bitcoin does, the crypto stocks and the altcoins follow pretty much in the same suit, but generally in exaggerated manners. One of my favorite tools is Andrew's Pitchfork. So I'm gonna draw that here as to show you what we can see next. So there we go. Based on the trend line, here's what could happen. So I've drawn Andrew's Pitchfork. I followed the middle line into the trend line, which is where it's the average could go to. But I personally think it's likely to fall down to this support level. The thing is, Technical analysis is all fair and well, but if the overall market sentiment is not good, there are tech sell-offs across the board, there are sell-offs in crypto, then we're gonna see sell-offs no matter how fundamentally sound a stock is. And it did not help that Coinbase basically underperformed in every metric in their recent financial results. However, this was expected. 
when the crypto market is seeing less buying pressure and more selling pressure, then people are naturally not trading on exchanges as much. And these exchanges depend on trading for their revenue. So naturally they've seen less trading and therefore they are receiving less fees that contribute to their revenues. One of the useful tools on XTB to see overall market sentiment and whether the majority of the market is in the red is to go to the heat map. That's within market analysis, you click on heat map and I chose US stocks and let's choose a month. Well, in the month we've seen most of them are up very slight amounts, but we are seeing loads in the red, Apple down 4.7%. A lot of tech stocks, crypto stocks, blockchain stocks have been in the red. There's a lot of reasons for this. The overall macroeconomic picture is terrible right now. We have the Russia-Ukraine crisis. Interest rates have been increasing because of the high inflation. We've also seen the huge Terra Luna crash that impacted the overall crypto markets. That of course impacted people's confidence in the crypto market. Less people are trading. So places like Coinbase are not getting the fees that would basically help their quarterly performance reports. Anyway, let's take a look at who's been buying and selling Coinbase stock. So recently we saw that top Coinbase officials jointly sold over $1 billion worth of coin stock. Naturally, this causes the coin stock to fall in price and we saw that in the charts. Now naturally, this sounds worrying if their own executives are selling the stock. It makes you think, are they not bullish on their own stock and the performance of the company they work in? But a Coinbase spokesperson did say that the four top leaders maintain large positions in the exchange and this demonstrates their commitment to long-term opportunities. And that is what's key here, long-term opportunities. And that's what I always say, invest in fundamentally sound companies with a long-term time horizon so that all these market slumps you're seeing now, you will eventually overcome them and you won't have much downside if you have a longer time horizon. If you are investing for the short term, especially in a market like this, it's very easy to see your stock fall to the ground. And that's why I say you'll see the prices fall further if you don't have a longer time horizon. But anyway, I wanna go into one of the most exciting pieces of news, which is that Kathy Wood, has been increasing her holding of Coinbase for the ARK Invest portfolio. So as you can see, Kathy Wood grabs more than half a million Coinbase shares as the exchange's stock plummets. She's basically buying the dip. She bought a combined total of 546,579 shares of Coinbase Global on Wednesday, and this article was on the 11th of May. So earlier this month, shares fell to $53.72 on Wednesday. And you guys, we already saw that the current price for Coinbase is as you can see the buy is $77.26. So she's already in profit by a substantial amount by buying the dip. And if we go on TipRanks, which collects analyst ratings for different stocks, we can see that Coinbase is deemed a moderate buy with 15 people saying to buy and the price target is $156.17, which is a 103.19% upside from where we're at. But one thing I've got to say, if you guys are in crypto and I think majority of you guys are into crypto since you follow this channel, we know that bull runs are absolutely ballistically crazy. We see prices go sky high. So can you imagine how high the Coinbase stock price could be in the next bull run? I think we could see much higher returns than what analysts are even predicting. 103% over the next year is still really, really high, but imagine in the next bull run how high Coinbase stock can go. Also another piece of reassuring news on who's buying Coinbase stock is their own founders. So Fred Ersan bought 1.8 million worth in Coinbase stock on May 24th. And he bought them at a price of $60.60. Already he's in profit because I just showed you guys the price. It's 77 ish dollars. There are, however, naysayers as well. So I've got to show you this side of the argument. We have Jim Chanos who said that there will be more short selling and he thinks that Coinbase is tremendously overvalued. And he said, as fee feast is set to end. Well, yeah, of course, there are less people trading because the crypto market is in a bear market. But when we see the next bull run, they will have more fees and therefore investors will benefit with share price increases because they will show better quarterly results when we see increases in user activity because exchanges profit off the fees naturally. But nevertheless, let's listen to what he has to say. He said, Coinbase was not a call on crypto prices, Channel said in a podcast. He said it was a call on what we thought was a sort of ancillary predatory business model. So he says that he expects Coinbase fees to compress from their current levels. 
Now, as an investor, I must say Coinbase's fees are incredibly high. They're incredibly annoying. It ends up making me gravitate towards other exchanges that have lower fees. So I do understand his point. But at the same time, the results were naturally so much worse because the overall crypto market sentiment is low. It's not just because their fees are really high. It's because, well, no one's really well buying <laughs> they should be they really should be because the prices are super cheap i've gone on about that but i'm not gonna hop on about that anymore you guys know the drill buy low sell high but anyway yeah so i think there are pros and cons to coinbase i personally am bullish i have bought in this dip in my own personal portfolio um i bought in pretty much when i heard kathy wood buy in i was like yeah but no really i was always bullish on it and when I saw Kathy Wood buy in and I saw that the price had fallen so much, I thought there was limited downside. There was more potential of upside because it could go lower, but the markets are in a terrible position right now. So when the markets get better, we will see Coinbase price improve and it already has. I mean, Kathy Wood has profited quite a significant amount already. Anyway, guys, leave down below what you guys think of Coinbase stock. Are you guys investing in it? Also, what's your favorite exchange to use? I'll be talking about some of my favorite exchanges in upcoming videos. And yeah, if you made it this far, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when I release a video. Also guys, I made this video a little bit more chatty. I like to throw in chatty videos in here and there. If you like them, let me know. If you don't, I guess also let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.